And it's red in the center and blue all around With a ribbon of gold in between And it's bigger than Texas and flatter than Spain And it's the best country I've ever seen I have no idea how fast we were going, but it felt like a million miles an hour to me. We were knocking trees over and bashing through the scrub, ducking under branches. And then the next thing, we'd be out of the scrub and onto the plains, flying across towards some cattle on the other side. And I thought I was doing well just to hang on with one hand and film with the other. And I look down and I see the kids eating fruit from a tin. The littlest one in the front with a spoon, if you please. Hello and welcome to cattle mustering Gulf of Carpentaria style, which, if the owner of 7 Emu Station has his way, is set to become the next big thing on the country tourist circuit. It starts off tame enough. You get in these cut down four wheel drives with tyres strapped to the front bumper and go out looking for mobs of clean skinned cattle on the flats. Then someone spots one and the chase is on and the fun begins. Naturally, the first thing the cattle do is go bush. And the first time I saw this, I thought, ah, well, bad luck. There's no way we'll be following them in there. Wrong. In we went, crashing and bashing. At one stage, my hat got knocked off my head. And all the while, Clary is trying to pick a path through the scrub and keep his eye on the cattle so he can drive them back out onto the plains where at least you've got a chance of tiring them out. Yeah, sort of. Get in, get in them and chase them quick, they sort of knock up, but when you sort of poke them back off them, they, they gallop, gallop and gallop for miles, some of them do, but sort of if you get into them and up them quick, you sort of blow the gas out of them, yeah. You get, you get any of them, turn around and have a go at you, give you a real try and... Oh, uh, the big ones do. These ones that we got today were sort of young Mickeys and that. Um, them big fellas sort of come back and get have a go at you. And, yeah. That's comforting to know. Only the big ones have a go at you. But Clary's dad, Frank, is unperturbed. Yeah, we think of think of doing that, the bull cat in itself. Yeah. I mean, people will want something else, more thrill. I mean, they do bungee jumping, jumping out of plane. I mean, bull catching is no different. You know, a bit more safer, I reckon. <laughs> I, just, I nearly got my head knocked off. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it is, you know. It's, the thrill of chasing a wild bull, I mean, it's good for kids, you know, young kids, I mean, not kids that are 10 and 12 years old, you know, you wouldn't see them doing bungee jumping or skydiving. I don't know, Frank, I think by the time these kids are 10 and 12, they'll be base jumping Mount Everest. Stay on the road, back this way, back this way, this way, back this way, turn quick, turn, ah, turn it on. With a ribbon of gold in between And it's bigger than Texas and flatter than Spain And it's the best country I've ever seen